all right guys welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're going over to california to a brewery that i'd actually never heard of before and if i'm talking a little quiet it's because people are asleep and i've just come in from work and i feel, felt like having a beer so today we're going over to alvarado street and this is a can of their pal palapa of your dreams which is a double ipa clocking in at eight percent abv Fantastic looking artwork on that wraparound label. I uh, got this from the McKellar Beer Club box for November. So referral link is down below. Uh, yeah, doesn't really tell you what hops are in this one. But uh, yeah, beautiful label. Not sure who's designed it, but sort of like a vintage photograph. And of course, the all-important independent craft brewers logo, which means nothing to me personally because I'm not a fan of the Brewers Association, and I'm going to leave it at that before people start writing in the comments, but nobody would. But uh, yeah, so, nice double IPA from America, which I think is pretty fresh. Let's see, so, not packaged for resale. Uh, brewed on the 2nd of October 2018. So either that or the 10th of February 2018. I'd imagine it's with the us dating system so yeah pretty darn fresh um we're now on the 9th of november as i record this so just over a month old so it's had a chance to to mellow and uh anyway so let's see what we get with this one then all right then a lovely hiss nice little bubble action there of course she's in the mckellar beer club glass so let's give this a pour and see what we get all right then. So that's what the beer looks like in the glass. Uh, yeah, it's a hazy IPA as you would expect, but not as like sort of like bright or turbid. Um, it's got that sort of like cloudy, almost like a cough medicine look to it, bordering on a slight sort of a chicken stock. But yeah, murky. You can't see through that at all. Well, it looks lovely here, and on camera it looks a bit more dense and juicy. But, um, yeah, fantastic stuff and lovely and pale at the bottom. Uh, little bits of bobs floating around. Beer pod of about one finger's worth of a nice compact white head. Lovely action as you tilt the glass. So let's see what we get on the nose. Oh, it's really nice and mellow. Mm, it's 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 a, got a lovely gentleness to it. I mean, you're getting all those fruity flavours. And uh, speaking of fruity, what the hell is going on there? But yeah, just brush it back and make it look weird, Peter. Uh, anyway, yeah, you get a little bit of blood orange, a little bit of grapefruit, subtle tropical tones. It's a little bit of like a sweet, sticky resin character. That slight like oniony, garlicky aroma, but very subtle. Yeah, I'd say that the citrus is uh, bursting out of the beer more than any other sort of flavour or hop profile. But then again, it could be because I've just come off a cold and my, my nose is nice and crusty and stinging like a motherfucker. But um, yeah, I'm definitely getting the hops in there and it smells lovely. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. And just like the nose, it's nice and gentle on the on the flavour. Upper end of medium mouthfeel. It's not like a really thick, chewy sort of uh, double IPA. Doesn't always have to be. But yeah, it's got that sort of like zing of like a lemon juice almost. But yeah, predominantly citrusy on the flavour, but sweetened. It's not like a tart citrus character. A little bit of lemon in there. This sort of like creamy grapefruit, blood orange character. It's a bit herbal. There's a bit of greenness on the back end. So it could probably mellow out a little bit more. It's not at the point now where it's like encroaching on the beer itself though. So I'm not going to hold it against it. But it's just not really that slight medicinal flavour. Not my biggest... Uh, love to be honest but it's not too bad in this and in fact it just it complements the bitterness almost 
But yeah, this is a really nice introduction to a brewery. It's nothing you've never drank before. It's got a little bit of sherbetiness to it. Lovely gentle hoppy bitterness. So it's not just overtly sweet. Like some of these beers can be. That being said, the last few like hazy IPAs I've had have got that bitterness on the back end, which I really, really enjoy because I like to be reminded that I'm drinking a beer. But um, yeah, it's not drinking like a double IPA. Um, maybe a subtle warming as it's going down, but aside from that, you could probably crush that. You really could. I mean, it's not blowing my socks off. It's not really wowing me or anything like that. But if you like your citrus flavours in an IPA, this is a really nice job. And I'd be happy to try more beers from this brewery. I'd be happy to add this again. Um, I just think maybe I should have let, let it just settle for another few weeks. But don't mention that on any groups on Facebook or else you'll get fucking bombarded with bullshit comments. But uh, I think we all know which UK based group that could be. Mm, yeah, a nice job. And a great way to uh, finish a, a shift at work and get me in the zone because I'm actually in the mood for a couple more beers. Got a triple IPA after this one, another one from America. So I'm looking forward to that. Got a weekend off and then my shift on the following Monday is only four hours so I could get a little bit carried away this weekend. Um, probably just fester in this tip of a room. Yeah, there's clothes everywhere. But oh well. But um, yeah, a nice job indeed. Uh, in terms of a rating, I could happily give this one an 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's just... I know I harp on about the Mikel Beer Club and a lot of my beer reviews come from that. But when you get to try beers like this that you probably wouldn't be able to buy in like UK bottle shops, you know, that, that part alone, it's given me uh, brewing experiences that I'd probably really not be able to have a try at. So if you're interested, referral link is down below. Helps me out, you can get a discount as well. And we get to share some really good beers. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with my subscription. And uh, yeah, especially when we get beers like this. So out of 10, uh, check out um, Alvarado Street Brewery if you've not done so already. Or brewery, yeah, brewery. Got it right the first time. Doesn't happen often. Um, if you've tried this one, then let me know your thoughts and opinions. Or if you've tried any of the beers from the brewery, then of course thoughts and recommendations always welcome and uh yeah if any of my friends or fellow beer tubers have reviewed this one i'll put their links down below and uh yeah thank you for watching and hopefully you'll join me next time for another beer review cheers guys and you all take care